already. We are online. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to 40G Photo Talk. Uh, today is July 3rd, and I'm Alex Kolosko, founder of 40G School of Photography. Today we'll be talking about photography. Um, we'll be looking at your submissions for the 40G challenge, and I'll make some announcements. Okay? Uh, how are you doing? Let me know if you hear me and see me well, so I, uh, well, I make sure that everything is fine. Uh, there is a little bit noisy, it's hot here, and uh, we're running uh, tons of air conditioning and stuff like this. So if you see me well, please post plus on the chat on YouTube. Okay, let me grab a little bit higher, okay, like this. So, what happened last week is this, um, let me, let me, let me show you. Uh, we have released a new workshop, okay, uh, it's a series of uh, photos of uh, some cool uh, headphones and uh, as usual it includes shooting and post-production. Uh, there is a hero shot, okay, this one, uh, and then uh, we made a uh, few, well, I made a few more, uh, just featuring some, you know, parts of the product. So basically, this is what uh, um, the usual shooting for, uh, not for e-commerce, but, you know, something that can be used for ads or for... Uh, well, prints for some packaging and stuff like this. This is how uh, usually uh, assignment look like, okay? And uh, well, if you're part of uh, Pro Club, welcome to watch. If not, uh, it, you can join. And good time for join uh, to join Pro Club is tomorrow, actually. Uh, tomorrow, because tomorrow uh, we are going to run big sale for a couple days, not much. And uh, this is uh, where you will have a uh, chance to join either Pro Club by monthly subscription or everything, get everything that we have on 40G. Uh, it's not a discount yet, but uh, tomorrow, like I said, will be good discount. And uh, the, the big thing is that Unlimited is going away. Uh, it will be on sale uh, for some time, and then we completely close this plan. We're not going to give access to all courses uh, with one subscription anymore. Okay, we tried it. It was like for about, well, a little bit less than uh, one year. It was great, but uh, we changing the, uh, the way that we'll distribute our courses. Uh, we will be running the partnership and uh, Unlimited is not going to fit into that model. So if you join, you will have access to all the courses uh, for all the time you, well, till you keep your subscription current, meaning that you pay once a year and have everything, uh, well, access to everything, uh, to all new courses, to everything, okay? It's uh, on unlimited. So this was the, the announcement. Let me see what, we, what is going on here. One second. Yeah, like that. So I'll see a little bit more. Uh, Leonardo, hello from Spain. Всем привет, yes, Alexander, uh, Germany. So, how it's going on, uh, guys, on on your uh, side of the planet? Uh, we now all, you know, kind of united by this virus. <laughs> it's interesting that something uh, happened that you know, kind of uh, get through the borders, and uh, regardless of uh, you know your either political or, uh, well, any type of um, division, it gets through, you know, it's, it's kind of cool, so uh, that's, it's a bad event, but it's united uh, everyone, and we can talk about stuff, uh, you know, what's happening. You still in masks? I mean, do you wear uh, those masks uh, in public places or not? It's interesting how it's handled in your country. Uh, just, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, here in in US, uh, it's like you know, second wave is coming, and uh, uh, well, I don't think there is gonna end in any second or third or third waves because it's like a flu. It will be you know every year, 
uh, coming something. So uh, I'm not sure how, uh, you know, how in the depth. And, you know, like with flu, there is no good vaccine, and I'm not sure that it ever will be there. Like, there is no vaccine for, uh, for AIDS, right? They never develop vaccine. There is, uh, like, a treatment that stop AIDS. You know, you, you remember AIDS, you know, that something that's supposed to kill uh, humanity, like, 10 years ago. Uh, but they never created a vaccine, so uh, there is no vaccine. Again, uh, viruses, I guess. Anyway, somehow, somehow we'll go through this. Okay, mask. Vijay, are you from... It, you are in India, or what, what country is that? Belgium, okay. Slovakia, Colombia, France, whoo! Uh, yeah, whole world is over there. Uh, one thing that I want to also talk about, um, about actually uh, Friday photo talks, uh, we're going to do it uh, at least for the next couple of months, we're going to do it once per month. You will have more time to do a uh, 40 d challenge and uh, we will have more time to, you know, prepare for something uh, interesting, okay, something interesting for you. And uh, this is why next uh, Friday photo talk will be in one month. So somewhere beginning of August, okay, once per month. And then we'll see, because, you know, this, this time of, I'm not sure how much vacation will be uh, going on, uh, for you guys, but uh, definitely uh, we all want to have some breaks, you know, something that usually we do in the summer. Again, not sure how, what will happen because of this virus stuff. Masks are becoming the new norm, I think. Yeah, well, it's it's true, and I, I don't like this norm. You know why? I'm not against um, protection and all these uh, things, but I just don't think that mask works on the way that they're supposed to be. You know, people get sick even with uh, lots of, you know, precaution going on. I mean, you, like, you can wear a mask, you can uh, wash your hands, you, you don't talk to people, and you get that virus, I mean, you get COVID. Uh, I've seen it so many times, even with uh, people who I know closely, uh, that it happens uh, regardless of all the precautions, meaning that it's just not effective. This is my uh, opinion. It's not effective, uh, but somehow it's being pushed. Uh, well, probably in some sort of desperate uh, uh, intention of at least to do something. You know, government, they, they can't, you know, help much, uh, so they're trying to do. In U.S., it's always lots of politics, especially, you know, in November there is election, so it's just going on crazy here. With all this, everyone used this uh, COVID, not only COVID, but, uh, you know, everything, but COVID mostly, uh, you know, to get some... Uh, well, whatever the agenda is for that part uh, in upcoming election, but I mean, it, it's just not good at all. But anyway, that's the part of the at least American's life. <clears throat> James, watch a demolition man uh, other nights. Feel the culture uh, portrayed in the movie Close Where We Are Heading. Yeah, yeah, it's all unfortunately, you know, anything that goes through the fear, through fear, it's, it's probably not a good way. Because society, I mean, there are many things that uh, we might be afraid of, many. And the biggest is death, right? It's this personal death, we are all afraid to die. Uh, on the other hand, we'll be, you know, we always, it's inevitable, I mean, we'll die. Everyone will die. And it's like, it's a part of the life. Anyway, it's not, but what I'm saying that fear, if, big changes are coming to society, any society, uh, because of the fear of fear, I think it's not good changes. It, it's really not good changes, because good changes coming from different, uh, from different emotions, uh, different uh, intentions, and uh, fear is, is never good. Uh, and it will be, well, I don't, I don't know. I'm optimistic, but you know, I'm realistic as well. <laughs> uh, with all this era of internet, 
it was too much freedom, you know, too much freedom, uh, especially in the network, in internet, and uh, it, it's gonna be ending soon. And it just, you know, wars will be just the, sort of like a cause, but, and then we'll see what will happen. Okay, um, careful, yeah, biotech, especially. Okay, you know, you know what I, I watched, uh, talking about movies, uh, last thing, we, I didn't watch movie for a long, long, long time. I mean, uh, the fiction movies, uh, but especially the series, you know. Uh, but recently I watched uh, Westworld, all three episodes. Man, this is <laughs> the reality. <laughs> oh, this is the reality. I really, I recommend, guys, Westworld. WW. Anyway, let's talk about photography uh, a little bit. But you know, I sometimes I feel like uh, I want to talk to you just like not photographers, but like you know, humans. Hello, Xavier. Sorry, Xavier. Yeah, from Panama. Thank you, uh, Rupesh. Thank you. near Lincoln and trip to Mars next. <laughs> trip to Mars. <laughs> I was asking Musk in my head, you know, why go to Mars if he couldn't fix life in Earth? Just to bring all this madness to Mars eventually? <laughs> Let's fix it here. I mean, I'm not against, it's a cool thing. I mean, it's cool. It's like a big toy, you know, for big boys, all this. But I hope we, before we can go and really live uh, on any planet other than Earth, I really hope that we learn how to live together, you know, without killing each other and you know, all this stuff. It, because, you know, too much hate. Why we need Mars? Okay, so let's talk about, uh, you know what, one second, I have something to check. I want something to check. Uh, before we can talk about submissions for the Fortitude Challenge. Oh, cool stuff. Question for you guys. Do you want your portfolio to be reviewed? Let, let's do something, uh, let's try at least uh, to do something crazy. I am ready to talk about your portfolio, your professional photographer's portfolio. If you send the link uh, here on the chat, you can uh, exclude, you know, sometimes it blocks the link, so uh, don't put www, don't put .com, uh, just put, you know, uh, the URL and then come separately with space in it. Anyway, post me your link to your portfolio and um, I can look at it and we'll tell you, at least from my perspective, from my experience, what, uh, where you can make it better. Because and this is the part of, uh, oh, I kind of reminded it, uh, it's a last assignment uh, for the certification program, uh, which actually will be on, on sale as well, uh, starting tomorrow. Okay, uh, the certification program is uh, the biggest, you know, the, the, probably the best uh, program for uh, product photographers. Uh, if you start from like almost zero, and then you want to be uh, to build uh, prof really professional portfolio of uh, product photographers, so we have this program. And uh, the last uh, part of it is the portfolio review. So we do have, I do have lesson uh, explaining what and how portfolio should look like. And once a uh, student created a portfolio, again, uh, most of the pictures in the portfolio will be from assignments from this course, uh, because it's like different varieties. It's, it's really good for portfolio. Then I review it and uh, providing this, uh, you know, feedback and how to improve it. So if you want uh, to get in, you know, just uh, by submitting your link right now, if it's ready, you know, if you have a portfolio that you're not afraid to, uh, to be 
featured, you know, on all our 80,000 subscribers on YouTube. And <laughs> after this video is done, you can post it, okay? <clears throat> it's a backup plan. <laughs> backup plan on Mars. I guess, it, well, yeah, the backup plan is good. But it's escape. For now, you know, all this smart stuff uh, for me, it's, it's a really, really good thing uh, to kind of develop technologies. I mean, I'm really not against it. I am I'm for it. Uh, but escaping things never work. Because we kind of bring in things that we want to escape, just changing the places we live. You know, it's like in personal life. Sometimes you change your place and uh, think, okay, now uh, most of the issues that I had there, whatever is with those people, are gone. And in a couple years, you're kind of facing the same issues if you didn't change by yourself because it's all inside. So that's just, you know, about humanity. Okay, uh, there is not much... Hi, <laughs> uh, Studio ATL. Yeah, I remember you. Um, uh, I forgot your name, but yeah. So, <clears throat> let's jump on this. Let's jump here and uh, let's talk about photography. So, we do have some submissions. Uh, a recent footage ch challenge was uh, level up the shot. Okay, so the idea is to uh, grab uh, the image that you like online and supply it with the description of your version of that uh, image, okay? And we are going to, well, we have some, at least this is the recent one. So uh, starting from this, uh, all this is new. To be to get the review, you need to really uh, state in your uh, submission that it will be for specific date on Friday talk. So this is uh, July uh, 3rd, okay? And uh, this is where I'll, what I'll be looking for in uh, descriptions. For example, on this one, uh, it's not saying that it was for that. Uh, it's just cool stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is cool cool idea you know what missing here really is the uh, slow motion there is not enough slow motion in my taste and it's sad because you know the slow motion it may be a really cool thing uh, and maybe a little bit more of uh, color grading it would be cool to have you know color shift on everything but video yeah it's fascinating you know to do the videos Yet, guys, there are so many cameras that can shoot slow motion. You know, even your iPhone or uh, Android camera most of the time. Uh, the, the, well, the recent one that I use uh, for slow motion, I mean, recent for me, uh, it's Sony RX, uh, RX, RX. RX10? Yeah, I think RX10. Uh, Mark IV, Mark III, uh, it, it can shoot up to 500 frames per second. So, I'm not going to talk about this. Let's see. Uh, this is called submission uh, because uh, we do have a behind the scene and we do have even behind the scene video, which is super awesome. Again, it's not... Uh, well, I know where the inspiration is coming from. Uh, probably... Uh, the guy is taking this course, or at least seen it, the, uh, there is a course where we did very similar things, okay? Uh, right, this is the thing that we did. For example, this one, right? Looks similar. And uh, the biggest uh, difference uh, from, oops, uh, this is something else. From what I see here is that the liquid is so thin here, which is actually cool. Uh, we used a uh, way uh, thicker liquid, and uh, we also used a not real uh, splash, I mean, not real product uh, that was dropped. 
So it, it, for us, it was a composite image. So the drop and the product was different. It was shot completely separately. Uh, let's see how, uh, let's see one more time again. Yeah, and actually it, it's done well. It's done well. Uh, Malka, why you didn't uh, supply that it was done for July 3rd? I would love to, you know, talk about your image, but you didn't say this, so it's just something that we can pick up to future you, but not uh, to review today. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cool image, but again, uh, it's not for specific July 3rd. It's just a bunch of tags. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is probably the best, what do you think? Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, this is it, this is it. This is correct description, this is what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, I'm talking about the statement that it was submitted for this review. And let's see what was the... Uh, the image that inspired uh, dear photographer uh, Yats 1000 to do something similar. So this is the image. The image is cool, yeah, it's completely professional. I'm not sure if it's done for the client or it's, it was self-assignment, but it looked like, you know, this is, well, it's, it's really good for that uh, Boondogs uh, whiskey brand, for sure. And we have this. So, it's interesting, yeah. Look how different you did it. Uh, and the biggest difference is that you have completely different lighting for the liquid by itself, for the uh, contents of the bottle, right? Why you did so? Uh, see here, it's it it may be not, it may be questionable why we do have uh, so dark inside of the bottle, because the the whiskey, the brandy or whatever this uh, bourbon looks looks really good when we have some light, and here it's a little bit darker, right? Uh, plus, actually, there are some strange spots on the glass, which tells me yeah, this is probably not uh, wasn't done for the real agency because something that. And the eyes, yeah, eyes too is not what advertisers will use. I mean, advertising photographers will use for the uh, paid uh, assignments. You know what I'm talking about, uh, Sibun Docs, right? I mean, the great image, but eyes should be, mm, it's, it's acrylic eyes um, with better shape. Uh, anyway, it was black. You have it's almost like glowing. And I know probably how you did it. Uh, there is no behind the scene, but well, you put some card behind, right, and highlighted it, or maybe some diffuser and highlighted. So something that uh, basically was way brighter than the background. It was way brighter than the background, right? This is what uh, you did. And it's, it's not wrong so from one side. It's not really wrong. Um, however, it doesn't look good now unfortunately you have too much it's it's almost like you know orange juice it look like that it's not a clear liquid but something matte like orange juice or well any type of juice with uh, that you cannot see through this is how it looked like for me because of this it just not good it's not representing the product just because of this sometimes it's cool to have it highlighted this way but it should be blended with the background a little bit better. Otherwise, it looks it look, it look strange. I know that uh, we have uh, such uh, lessons, you know, how to shoot it. Uh, even uh, I think uh, one of the sort of famous, it was done a long time ago, but it was highly spread uh, on social media. Uh, similar to this, uh, Carl Taylor, uh, great photographer, great educator, did it, right? And uh, I think, well, not sure how it looked like there, but I know where it's coming from, but again, it shouldn't be misrepresent the, any part of the product. And now the liquid is misrepresented because of this, okay? Even though this is cool technique, uh, it just doesn't blend well with the background. Uh, it's like, you know, opposite. It's uh, this side, it's uh, this guy didn't do any lights on the liquid, so it's really dark. 
a little bit, you know, see how it looks like uh, at the bottom, right? It looks cool. But it would be cool if it will have a little bit more light just inside it. So it's one scale, it's, it's dark. And you did opposite. And the, the truth <laughs> is somewhere in between, okay? On my opinion, somewhere in between. This should be brighter and yours should be darker. And the main thing with darker, you still can utilize the light from the background. You, you still can utilize light from the background uh, to get that natural look. Because your bottle mostly, it's transparent. What if, just give you, I'll give you a recipe, maybe, I mean, you need to test it, uh, but it should work, again, on my uh, experience, that you can do composite image, you can have uh, your light, your background light, brighter, way brighter than you have to get through the bottle and have some nice gradient, because it's a spotlight, uh, behind the bottle. So this shot will be for the bottle, and then you uh, dim down the light, so it's like this, for the background. And then you put, you know, composite image, two images together, and the bottle will look cool. And you can easily control how bright it is. And it will look, it will look natural, because it will be the same light, the same shape behind it. You understand? It will look transparent because of this. The contents of the bottle, it will look transparent. So you can really uh, use the background light, just make it brighter for that only shot for the bottle instead of all that screens, okay? Then another thing, what is this? What is going on here? Man, you shouldn't do this. No, really, you shouldn't, you never should do this. You almost touching it. It's like, oh, big no. It's it's like you, you touch it. No, you almost. It, it, it's too. This is too close. This is too close. You need to put your glass either to cover part of the bottle, which probably the best thing to have since there is no other stuff and it could be grouped in the middle. And of course, uh, yeah, make sure that it's actually it will be even more balanced. It will be a little bit more on the center. Or you need to move your glass like that. So there is quite good gap between it, between the bottle and the glass. But we never touch it. We never touch the edge of the frame, never, ever. And we never touch uh, things, uh, the subject that we have on, on, the, on the image. We never touch. We either overlap or uh, there is some good gap. So this is something that I would suggest you to do uh, differently. Uh, what else? Lighting, you know, uh, this. One second, guys. Yeah. Uh, on this side, we have a gradient. There is uh, like a edge light on the other side. Um, that's okay, uh, but ideally, I would love to see a little bit uh, thicker gradient because now it's it's almost like you know almost like an edge light. Uh, why? What if you would you know move your diffusers, make it a little bit larger, and you know do all that magic? Uh, to have it like thicker, you know, nice thicker uh, gradient. It's not a big deal to do like this, it just, I think it will look better if you would have it. Uh, because the idea is to have different lighting on both sides. If one side is edge light, like you have, okay, other side should be something soft and soft, thicker, larger. Usually we, we don't do soft thing, which is kind of small, right, it's, it's larger. And then together it kind of, it, it presents uh, product nicely. The label done nice. Uh, I like the way that uh, you have a gradient, so it's brighter and, you know, naturally. So that's fine. That, that's not a problem. Uh, what else? Now we have some issues here. And the biggest issue here, of course, the eyes by itself. Your eyes is not going to work, unfortunately. Your eyes is not going to work. Uh, let's see what kind of eyes I would suggest you guys. By the way, if you have anything to add to my critique, feel free, uh, post your uh, comments and I'll be happy to, well, to discuss it with you. One second, I want to do something right here. I'm gonna have my chat over here, beautiful. So, 
let's search acrylic ice cubes now it's on amazon it used to be you know hard to find uh these are not nice mm, all this this is not good maybe this so you really need to look at the shape it shouldn't look like um like a cubicles you know it should be large this is not good for example you know trend growth studio this is where uh it's supposed to well at least i was buying my so let me we do have uh on 40g by the way uh we do have this gear list that helps if you don't know go and find it uh it will really help you to well, to find whatever you want, uh, should be here, hopefully, no. There are some cool light modifiers, no, unfortunately, it's not there. Uh, so, Trend Grove Studio. Uh, how it's called? Trend Studio. Let's see if uh, Facebook can help us. Here it is, I think. Someone else selling it? <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is the ice that I'm talking about. Custom shapes, you see, $250. It's something crazy. Never, I mean probably they kind of making money I'm just reselling their stuff because it's too expensive uh, not sure but guys simplest solution okay I'll give you the super simple solution uh, when you go to workshops uh, there are and actually it's on YouTube uh, it's completely free uh, but I'll show you uh, we had uh, a few things uh, using this Acrylic. It's not acrylic. It's like a resin, but uh, it's easy to uh, cut it uh, and uh, you know crush it on any shape. To get this type of ice, and you can crush it by hand, and it's completely clear, and it's super easy to crush it. I was showing it uh, to to you guys. Uh, again, just search on YouTube. This will give you the best possible look for your eyes. Really, and it's it's super not expensive. One second. I'll show you in real world, in real world scenario. So, this is that ice. You see how it, it's, it's really clear, it's really cool, and what's even better, I can just crush it with my hand or with some nice knife, and I can get really nice cubes that are beautiful. And I have, you know, like a bunch of them. You know, it was all pieces from uh, from this uh, workshop, and everything is explained on the workshop as well. So uh, it's uh, Eclipse OK, Eclipse OK uh, thing, and it will help. Okay, what else? One second. Uh, I just got some Eclipse OK and mixed last night. Anxious to try on. Uh, yes, yes, PX Blender. Yeah. That that's will be cool. I get the smaller bottles and it was twenty four for the kit. Yeah, twenty four dollars for the kit. Uh, smaller bottles. I don't know how uh, large uh, are not, but it's and cups. Sorry, not and clips. And cups. Okay, this is the name of the stuff. All right, and cups. And cups. E yeah, I think this is silicon rubber. Yeah, I got a larger one. I think. Yeah, I got. I got this two so I have plenty of supply uh, if you do it you know for a long time but uh, smaller bottles here you go and it will give you the best way to shoot it uh, 
how to make do it yourself like guys for product photography using yes yes exactly uh, this is how you search it actually you can go to YouTube right um, YouTube and you just search this thing somewhere here it is this is the video that we have and is it two minutes wow it's just two minutes guys so <laughs> everything you need to know is there let me uh, drop it to the chat thank you Luke okay and uh, it should be the link I think uh, yeah oh even better we have uh, this beautiful instructions so you can grab it there how to make fake eyes here it is enjoy it's completely uh, free it's open to everyone enjoy it okay uh, let's move to now. Well, this is it. This is it about the photo. A uh, good photo, but uh, well, rooms for improvement. This is good photo too. Uh, one second, this one. Uh, but I think there is a room for improvements as well. And you know, guys, there is always like this. Uh, I'm well. I'm. I know that there is always room for improvements, and especially if you start uh, critically uh, looking at any photo, even you know, photo of the world best photographers there are ways to to get it better because it's all subjective it's all subjective we do it the way that we like and uh i well not ideally in reality there is nobody who can ju uh, judge our images uh, however if you try to make money with our craft this is where judges come in people who pay money they want to see something very specific and our idea is to deliver what they want or at least to convince them that this is, they want this. It's like, you know, a different approach to marketing. You can uh, deliver what uh, your potential customer want, right? Sell it. Or uh, you can convince your customer, like Apple was doing, Steve Jobs. Instead of delivering what they want, he told, hey guys, you want this. And he was able to convince people, millions, <laughs> that they want this stuff like that not with nice buttons anyway <clears throat> let's move uh, to the next one chile on fire Woo. this is again a great submission for this uh, for this uh, critique and Josh made this image is it a single one no it's a series Okay, serious. Wait, this is only two, right? Ah, beautiful stuff. Ah, tasty. And rawjpeg.com. Uh, raw raw or jpeg.com. Oh, nice. Raw or jpeg.com. Uh, is it like like this? Okay, it's coming. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops. By the way, follow, like. One second, make sure that it's like and follow. Yeah, I, I do follow already. And guys, find uh, this beautiful photographers on Instagram and follow them. So, this is cool, I like it, it's so small on uh, Instagram, it's just crazy, uh, I like it. it, it's nice, let me see again, just interesting, yeah, this is my thought, why you have such strange shapes on your paper, I mean, like somebody stopped eating them already, of course, they shouldn't look like a brand new because they've been on fire, right? But look at this. At this. Um, 
well, first of all, there is no little tails, right? Uh, one habit. Um, it's sometimes okay, for example, this one without, it's fine, this is probably okay uh, too. Uh, however, some of them I really like, look like somebody bite them. You put so much time to create in this composition, and it's, it's, it's cool, I mean, it's, it looks amazing. And you didn't get time to find a nice paper that is kind of not damaged. Man, what is going on? I mean, how to explain? I couldn't explain... Well, probably your idea, idea that it was, you know, it's on, on a fire, so it doesn't matter, the shape is already broken. But I don't see that it's broken that much. I mean, it's not like it was completely fried. It doesn't look like. It's really like it was placed on a plate without that thing. So it's not fresh or it's damaged. We don't, I mean, food photography, it's about style and light, right? And every piece should look really tasty. And uh, again, on this photo, uh, we do have really nice and perfect shape. And you see that those tails, those little stems, uh, stems, how I call it, they, they really burned. I mean, they're not fresh and it's completely fine. But you, you kind of, you got this, okay? Yeah, Josh, Josh Caldwell, amazing work. Yeah, I agree. So, this is something that uh, I think could be done better, okay? Uh, what else? You know, it's, it's cool. Uh, it has lots of motion. The, fl uh, the flare, um, the flame looks good too. I don't think uh, there is any problem. Uh, there are things like this. I understand that it represents sort of like a flying something super hot, almost like a white hot. Uh, but why it's white? Because it shouldn't be, uh, even if it's uh, pieces of uh, charcoal, for example, you know what happens like when fire is really uh, running, it shouldn't be that white I don't, and, and that red. So there is probably uh, the filter that you applied, some sort of like a filter or, I don't know, brush uh, that does this, but it's more like an, an yellow. I, I don't think it's a good idea. These little ones, they, they look like uh, pieces of uh, charcoal flying from, you know, barbecue. This is fine. I, I'm, I'm okay with this, even though maybe too much of them, a little bit too many. Uh, but, you know, larger pieces, and especially, especially the colors kind of different. Yellow, white, red. Red completely off. I mean, th this is not the color that you can find on the flame, and it should be just, all of them should be orange. Like, like this, for example. This may be where it is, okay? Because you see here, uh, do we have anything again? Well, it, it of course, this is his choice. You shouldn't uh, follow. I, I like the idea of all this stuff is going on. It just, you know, you need to be careful. You need to be careful what, what, what you did, okay? Other than this, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's very dynamic, uh, tons of work. Uh, I like it. I like it. The flame, <laughs> the flame looks so, mm, how you call it, like too, too good to be true. This flame is actually, yeah, there is a mix of, of this. Uh, it's definitely one flame and different flame. They, they kind of uh, have different even scale look like, uh, but it's fine. Um, well, yeah, that, that's okay. I don't think it's, it's a big problem. It's just different style of the flame, which is fine. Okay, so. Thank you, Rao OGPEG. Great submission. Great submission. It just, you know, uh, way more subjective, subjective here uh, to, you know, there is no much technical things that I can point in terms of shooting. But of course, the post production and overall look is super important. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Uh, let's jump to the next one. Next one is. Yes, this is for this day. Uh, photo staging, vodka absolute current. Okay. Let's jump on this current. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Whatever. 11, 11, 1974. Close to my birthday. 
And we do have some images. Okay. And this is yours. Huh, interesting. So this one probably. Oh, come on, guys. We can download the image. Oh, it's interesting. They kind of... They they provide images for you? Huh, fun. Absolute by themselves. <laughs> interesting. Okay, this is what... Uh, okay. Very clean and nice. And you did it this. Wow. Uh, I feel like you need to put it side by side, really. <laughs> it's so close, I mean, look at this. Oh, it can be, I can't make it smaller, interesting. Okay. Man, it's interesting. <laughs> it, it, it never, it was never close like this before, you know? And now I'm kind of thinking which which one is better, because you did a great job, wow. Uh, the, the biggest difference from what I see, is this, right? Something happened here. Uh, he decided, whoever did this shot, or maybe it's even rendering, I, I don't know. Uh, he decided to cut uh, these reflections that inevitably will be visible. I don't think they can be hidden uh, just because it's water there, I mean the vodka. Uh, you didn't hide them. Uh, plus your vodka is here and there here. So definitely some etalon, I mean, they, they you know, like, <laughs> like <laughs> in, in, uh, on those advertisement of uh, McDonald's hamburgers and well, almost any food, you, you see it different and it's way better on, on the packaging than what's inside the packaging, right? It was even like a uh, cool post, social media post about this. So they sell less vodka than they have here, unless you drink a, a little bit of it. Um, so it's definitely uh, on this side, it, it's better. It may be not realistic, but because you have uh, this, why you didn't clean it, uh, make it just uh, nice uh, straight reflections? I'm wondering wh why you didn't do it. Th this one, I mean, it will look way better. I understand that this is glass, but nobody cares about the reality right here. It just should look nice. So I would definitely fix it. Uh, the cap itself, uh, that's fine. I even look, I, I even like uh, your cup is better than this one. This is, well, it, it's probably, I mean, it's good too, but yours, good too. Uh, the rest is, yeah, this is cool. Uh, you see they cut it uh, here, the reflection, uh, and you kind of made it all the way. Which is fine, which is cool actually. And I don't know, ideally, ideally, I would love, it's on the same, on both bottles, I would love to see this reflection a little bit brighter. I think it will be better than we have it a little bit brighter. It's in a black and it's completely a uh, glossy uh, bottle. Why not to have it uh, slightly brighter in the middle? I don't know. It might look better. It's not gonna kill the, uh, uh, you know, the brand name. And you know, something I noticed, I think this is straight. It's completely straight, which is impossible if it would be a real shot. Yours are slightly curved, bent. Well, it, it's really, it, it's bent a little bit here. It's bent. And this is super cool. This is awesome. It's better. This is, this is how it should look like. So you did it really better. This is either 3D rendering, but on 3D it's probably will be better. Or they just, you know, put the label from, from their, you know, company uh, logo library or whatever. Uh, this is not correct, because with this angle, you see, everything should be uh, slightly bent. Uh, everything should be bent. We, we're shooting from the bottom. So this is not correct. You did it way better, which is awesome. 
what else? The bottom, I think your bottom is better, really. I, I'm not really a big fan of this uh, bright bottom of the bottle to be on such, you know, clean, nice image, especially after they kind of uh, fix the top. I don't think that it should be uh, that bottom. Yours is better, even though it has, you know, uh, some unevenness and lighting, but uh, I think it looks better. So cool, very nice. This is really like level up. Yeah, this is cool on their side. The the gradient a little bit better than yours, a little bit. But nice. What do you think, guys? Cool. Okay. <clears throat> I think this is it. Uh, we're, we're done with this. So thank you so much. Photo staging. Uh, really good shot. Uh, let me follow you, like you, make sure that... Uh, what about your other work? Who? So we're bringing new people to Instagram. This is amazing. Nice, nice, nice. Welcome to Instagram. It's a place for you to be for sure okay this is the next one and this is not for the for this challenge there is no statement so it's just a challenge and uh, what you can tell this is super cool uh, i'm not going to spend much time on this oh here it is alexander you are here oh nice so yeah good work good work uh, get a portfolio get a portfolio done This is how he did it. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, and then change everything and do it again and again and again. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, this is super cool. Guys, if you uh, don't know what it is, uh, you can check. Uh, we do have course. So I know what was expiring. It's, it was the inspiration for the photographer. Uh, well, most likely, I'm not sure, 100%, uh, but uh, we have, you know, the workshop uh, with all that kind of stuff. And uh, the cool thing that uh, we can even combine it with uh, different, uh, you know, subjects, like that one, for example. And we do have uh, some other brand. If we removed it, it was... Okay, <clears throat> so, uh, well done, well done very uh, defined texture and this is super cool it's actually not that easy guys if you think that you know lighting for this uh, liquid is super kind of easy that's not uh, there are many things that you know you can do well you have to deal with to get it nicely like this but this one is done well thank you okay for the challenge this is for today review uh, Jana Blanco and this is the inspiration. Let's see the inspiration. Okay, this is the inspiration. Hmm. Okay, it's nice. But you, you kind of did it quite different, right? Uh huh. On black. Yeah, that actually reminds me that course that we have with you know food photography with speed lights, um, like. If you don't have any studio, nothing, you have two or three speed lights, two is enough. You can shoot stuff like this and actually like this without any problem. Uh, there is a course, it's, I think, food photography with, how you call it, one second. I kind of given you uh, all this information because you may use it tomorrow on the sale. Uh, food, where is the food? I don't see it. Very interesting. Oh, okay, man. Yeah, it, it's a part of certification. I'm sorry. Anyway, <coughs> it's part of certification program. So let's see, which one do I pick? Let's talk about both, uh, little by little. It may be my monitor, uh, Yana, but I see that black is really gray here. It's not deep, and actually it was way deep on the previous shot with the bottle, so it. There is something with your image where you uh, lost uh, contrast somehow. 
I don't think it's a good idea because it's, it's really like on a black background. So it's better to be darker, okay? Uh, then you have, if you talk about, you know, composition and technical stuff, let's talk about technical first. You have lost this side. And it's not a big deal. It could be not a big deal. However, uh, there are something that needs to be highlighted, I think. Images like this, food like this, even that plate or whatever it is, will really benefit from the edge light. Because this one looks like just one light source, somewhere like 45 degree uh, on the camera. And it's not enough. It's not enough to, to make professional photo. You need to have edge light from other side. With food, it's almost like a must. Really, it, it, it makes such difference if you do have that sharp light from behind, not really bright, what it will create, it will create nice edge, so we'll see the shape of the plate, whatever it is, I'm not sure what it is, right? It will create nice edge over here, which will look beautiful, because it's just dying into darkness, I mean, it's, it's, it's not good. Plus, of course, focus and everything uh, should be really sharp. Your focus is too narrow. Because you see this potato, well, it's not potato, it's, it's uh, I forgot how you call it, cauliflower, right? Cauliflower. It look out of focus. And it's so close to everything, there is no reason to blur it. It's not like, it's not foreground. The whole piece, I think, should be in focus, in sharp focus, so deeper depths of field. Because we have this all in focus, so why not all the rest? If you set up focus, I suggest you to set up it on somewhere that this is the middle. So middle of the de depths of field of, of, you know, things that you need to uh, cover. Because focus goes, you know, on front and at the back from that point that you focus in, right? Depths of field, it's, it's both sides. It just, you know, gradually uh, decrease the sharpness. Uh, so don't put it on the very front because you're losing half of your depths of field, right? If you put in the, the, uh, the element that is on the front, you, uh, you're losing half the depth of field. You need to put it somewhere in the middle of your composition to cover it, everything. Everything that should be covered with the focus, right? And here, since we don't have foreground, we do need focus on everything, okay? This is, in short, what I can tell you about this image. And on this one, it's good too, cool one. Uh, I'm in my mode of kind of tearing apart <laughs> students work <laughs> so similar issues here actually I do see some light on this side looks like but light from this side it's a little bit too much look on a black background completely black background you have relatively bright subject and it's too bright it just appears too bright because you know on the black uh, you need to dial it down it should be this brightness somewhere like on this side this is where we because we lost uh texture we i don't see much here so that's one thing balance it with light you don't need that much better make it more contrast uh, and this will be less bright because you just really make it too bright. Uh, then the question of depth of field. It's really shallow. And again, I'm not sure if you need that shallow in this little thing. It's not super macro where, you know, you have like your frame like that and you can really have only this in focus, you know, somewhere like that. It's, it's not there. You, you're showing the whole thing and nothing else. There is no foreground. Why not to have it uh, this in focus as well? Uh, it's it's too close. I think it will benefit to be in focus, really. Or you need to make it really really shallow, really shallow. So we have only this in focus, and the rest will be completely blurred. Well, not completely, but blur more. But I, I'm not sure. I, I I don't think it will work. Maybe, but I don't think. But light in the first lighting needs to be uh, balanced. Okay. 
Yeah, the best look is, you know, actually this part. It, it's so textured, it's nice, it's not overexposed, it's super cool. Ideally, I would love to see the, you know, the follow and light. Uh, the lighting setup. Okay, and the last one that we're going to talk today is this image. Okay. Yeah, this one, for example, completely balanced in terms of lighting. Uh, depth of field is good enough. We have uh, lots of things visible and uh, all this texture. It's, it's, this is one cool. Okay. Uh, um, oh, that's my shot. Surprisingly, where is the final? Oh, some beautiful work from students. I remember this. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's composite image, right? Anyway, uh, it's not mine. <laughs> mine is this, and uh, there is no link to... What is that? What is doing here? Whew, crazy. Um, so, this is digital background. The, the workshop was that we created an image with a digital... Oh, sorry, not a digital background. No, it was not digital. So the whole idea, I forgot. It was not digital background, it was the real one. It was all in camera. Yes, it, this image, it was done in camera. And you did the same. So where is the image? Do we have image? Yeah, you see this. This is oops. This is just a camera roll files. This is what was the workshop about. Uh, yeah, capture one. This is what I was using, and you did it. Wondering, did you really do it in the camera, or? It's still digital background. It's hard to, you know, to kind of review. Because, well, regardless, right? It doesn't matter in kind of uh, we judging the result. So let's see. I remember this jar, I remember this almond lamp. Uh, we talked about it and it's it's digital. Okay, okay. So this is digital background. It's not like in the camera. It's it's fine, it doesn't matter. The the result is you know the only what matters. Uh it looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's That's cool. The only thing you know, I would love to see some real rock here. You know, like to, to blend it. I just, it's more like a fantasy, you know. But uh, we have this super cool sort of rock like uh, foreground and then background. And, you know, somewhere in the middle, it would be cool that, you know, there is some rock behind and then and the rest. But it's fine. It's completely fine. I'm uh, just thinking, you know, uh, compositionally. It's so bright, you know, uh, I'm just trying to express my feelings. I feel that there is some tension, you know, like, w w and trying to figure out what is going on. And most likely, uh, the answer is that you have so bright areas on your subject, super bright areas. And there is not much on the background or something that, you know, um, that will balance it. Maybe this could be slightly brighter, you know, the clouds. I'm not sure. Maybe uh, there should be sort of like a sun somewhere or, you know, like um, this you know, burst of uh, light beams. Not sure, not sure. But somehow I want to balance it because it's like it's it sits here and it, it's super bright because look at um, 
at this stuff, right? For example, background is super bright here and it definitely balanced the bottle. And even not mine, if you go through uh, submissions, you see that background is... Oh, there is no way to next, next, next. So every time background well balance the brightness of the subject, right? Different, all kind of backgrounds. It's, it's all just prints, basically, prints. And many of them look like, you know, it, it was done in real, like it was really uh, just a sort of uh, like a table, you know, glass table, and there is uh, nice, uh, well, it's a theater or whatever in uh, Sydney, right? It, it really looks like it was shot there, not in the studio with studio lights. So this is what I ideally want to see here, because you have a really bright light on the subject, okay? This is what I'm thinking about, uh, what could be, uh, you know, balanced a little bit more, maybe more brightness on some parts here, not sure, but something definitely uh, may have. I'm very late. Yeah, you're very late. We're almost done. Then you can, uh, we can do Q&A if you have any questions or, you know, want to talk about anything then, and then uh, we'll be done. So, that's cool. But needs to balance. In terms of lighting, uh, I'm fine with this light. Uh, I'm fine, ideally, ideally, on, with really, uh, well, uh, no, come on. What I was trying to say that, you know, what about uh, that gradient and um, make it more contrast so the brightness on the left side on this is fine, on this side, and then the brightness will fall off way faster so it will blend without uh, visible, without visible, especially here, edges. Sometimes it's cool to, to make the gradient to blend into complete darkness without seeing the edge. This may be one of those cases, okay? This may be one of those cases, at least on one side. It's, it's not a big deal, but, you know, missed my photo. Oh, you think uh, I need to refresh? I'll, I'll do refresh, okay? So this is what uh, I can tell. Otherwise, it's nice. <laughs> Otherwise, nice. Let me refresh. I did miss your photo. This one, probably. No. I don't see it. I'm sorry. Uh, yet, 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 shook. Yet, shook. I do not see your photo. I'm looking at recent photos, and it should be the statement. This is probably new photo. Uh, it should be the statement that was submitted for this review. This is cool. Uh, this is cool. To be reviewed, you need to specifically tell that this is for today's review. Okay? Otherwise, it's... Oh, Bond Docs. Okay, 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 I see now. No, we, we did. We did it. You just missed it, but you can always uh, roll back and... Yeah, we did, of course, I did it, and the review. Okay, now I need to find the winner, and it's not easy. As usual, it's not easy uh, to find the winner because it's all cool, you know, guys? It's, it's super good shots, wow. Who's the winner? Oh, man, that's tough. That's tough choice, really tough, ooh. <laughs> Here it is. I know how hard uh, to do stuff like this, and uh, it's it's not super perfect. But the big the prize goes to creativity, and you know willingness to well to do the challenge and kind of well do the best. So, congratulations, uh, Rao OJPEG, you get in any course of your choice on 40G, uh, just contact our support and uh, we'll... Uh... <laughs> Guys, the absolute, absolute, uh, you, you get in the course, just contact us. 
And I see that uh, people saying that uh, our viewers, that this should win. Yes, this is the, it was two shots where I was jumping, you know. Uh, this is technically uh, almost perfect shot. That on the creative side. And really, it's, it's super hard to me to, to, do, to do judgments. Because, again, how to judge creativity, you know. On technical side, it's easier. Uh, to judge, but there is a you know creative shot which uh, not as good as uh, this one on technical side, but it's way more creative, and this is like uh, really you know repetition. Uh, I guess we need to run a prize for the uh, how you call it, prize зрительской симпатии, meaning that uh, the selection of viewers, I would say. <laughs> absolute, absolute, yeah. So. Alexander, contact us as well. You will have a prize for this, okay? Because I agree that this is an amazing shot as well. So I choose this one. You guys have chosen this one already. We'll take care of both winners. Okay, it's leveled up. Exactly, it's leveled up, definitely. Leveled up. If it would be, you know, I can tell you, if it would be the straight lines here, you know, this will be the winner. Because it's highly technical shot, it should be perfect. I mean, it's, it, it is perfect in so many places. Why we have this, you know, thing which is just shouldn't be there. <laughs> just make it straight. <laughs> Audience choice, yes. Thank you, thank you, Bayan. Audience choice, yes. Already. Cool, guys. If, uh, if you have anything for me, uh, time for you, you know, to uh, drop your questions or whatever comment. Uh, again, tomorrow we start in a uh, big sale, you know, 4th of July sale. Uh, and uh, the, the biggest thing that um, you don't want to miss is our unlimited package, uh, which will give you access to... Oops. Uh, let's show you. It will give you access to not only to all workshops, you know, pro club workshops. I'm talking about this one, unlimited. It will be discounted starting tomorrow, but it will give you access to all individual courses, all the courses that here are under individual courses. And after a week or so, it will be on announcement, the exact date. It will be discontinued. It will be not offered, meaning that existing members will remain. Uh, access to everything forever till they keep uh, the subscription current if they uh, basically renew subscription every year to all new courses anything that we do on 40g will be included into this unlimited but we are going to discontinue this offer in one week okay it will be no unlimited it will be pro club yeah it will be monthly uh, but this is something that if you uh, want to jump uh, on the train before it departure forever, okay? <laughs> Alexander saying that I'll make it straight. <laughs> yeah, uh, talking about this. <laughs> yes, definitely make it, make it straight, and it will be perfect. Make it straight. Send us as a proof that you kind of you made it straight, and uh, you'll get your prize. Okay? Cool. Already. So, thank you guys. Uh, thank you again uh, for being with me. Next Friday talk will be in August. Uh, we'll be uh, doing a little bit more on Pro Club. It will be announcement, but um, I'll tell you later. Uh, watch for announcements. We're going to give you a uh, way uh, more, well, I hope more interesting challenge and you will have more time. I understand this is, uh, you know, holiday time, uh, vacations and all that stuff. Uh, so take your time, uh, have a rest, and then uh, let's do something uh, really cool. And uh, I'll prepare myself uh, for the next show as well, so we'll have something to shoot. You see, we have, well, we have cool stuff here. Uh, lots of things. What's going on in the studio recently? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good weekend. Stay calm. I hope um, you and your family, your friends, will be uh, fine. I mean, no, no issues with 
the wires and with all this madness that is going on and I'll see you in August goodbye guys goodbye